All right, this is going to be the second flight of my uh, scratch belt Boeing 737 MAX 7 in um, Norwegian colors with flight controls, ailerons. Ailerons are go. Nose gear steering, nose gear steering is go. Rudder, rudder is go. Elevators, elevators are go. Flaps set to take off position. All right, let's get into our downwind leg. Cutting back power to about 60% power. Let's check out our maneuverability. All right, maneuverability looks okay. into a climb, high power climb, high power, and we're stalling. Going to full power. Oh! Um, this is what's left uh, the actual crash and everything looked a lot worse than it really was um, you know I, I, I wanted to gain altitude after I that low pass I was a little worried thinking I was a little too low and I, I had a downward descending trajectory so I said you know I'm gonna climb up and, and get out and then turn and I stalled the bird uh, completely idiotic move on my part one million percent my fault I stalled it and then she just uh, stopped in midair, stalled, came back down, and I actually recovered. If you watch the video, I recovered, but I was heading this way. No matter if I hit this table or not, um, I was still going to either hit the fence or hit the clubhouse right here, which is like 40 feet, 50 feet this way. So no matter what I did, even if this table wasn't here, I was going to hit the clubhouse, and then the plane, it would have been 100% destruction. It would have been completely destroyed. Um, but luckily, you know, the RC gods kind of uh, turned a complete disaster into a partial one and completely didn't screw me today. So instead of it just being a complete 
burnout and a complete wipeout it was a partial you know a partial wipeout so there's a lot of parts even from this damaged wing this right wing here that's very damaged could be reused this winglet can be reused um, you know there's so much stuff that I can recycle and reuse the flaps the aileron there's a lot of stuff that's going to go and go on uh, the repaired bird on the you know the new wing so this is not I mean I'm not I, I mean it sucks that I screwed up and hit hit a table and crashed just saying um to replace the damaged portion of the uh, Max's uh, fuselage, I've got this entire um, fuselage tube right here. I can use this to replace the damaged portion. And then, on top of that, I have this. I have a whole 7.3 styrofoam fuse tube and nose section uh, already hollowed out. And I can basically, you know, the damaged area on the Max 7 is 25% of the uh, fuselage uh, from the nose back to about there. So I can just chop that, stick that right onto the um, damaged Max 7's fuselage, and we're good to go. And then the wing, um, basically the uh, right wing would be replaced, and uh, the number two engine to sell. And then some other work, and it's back in the air. So, you know. That's the beauty of being a scratch builder because you make you can make your own replacement parts and get your plane back in the air. So um, don't worry about the crash. Uh, it was all my fault, pilot error. But at the end of the day, when you make your own replacement parts, you can repair any damage. And uh, if you build your plane tough and strong, it'll be resilient and it'll always fly again. This is Demon Driver. Thank you for watching and uh, more videos coming up. I'm always honored for your time and your views. Thank you very much. You guys take care. Bye-bye.